personally, I would like to, um, you know what I'd like you to do with it? Yeah. Because, again, um, don't ask me why, but uh, because you're a lady and what have you, would you ask this soul to give some kind of evidence that he is about? Because it, I feel we are being listened to okay. by him. Okay, all right. So if we all... He may respond, you see, because to the okay. female heel. Oh. And then after you ask, if we can just have complete silence. Yeah. yeah. None of the crew move. And also, if we can, if we can take the music down as well in the hob, so that if anybody at home can actually hear anything while we're concentrating, that would be really helpful. So if we can take the music down as well, that would be really great. Okay, so I'm just going to be really quiet now for a minute. Okay. Is there anybody here in this room? Are there any spirits here in this room that would like to talk to us? If your name is John, can you please try and communicate with us? Please, can you do something? Can you make a noise? Can you rap on the panels? Can you make footsteps? Can you walk across the floor above us? Can you do something, please? Anything at all. If you can hear my voice clearly, if you can see us, show some lights so that we can see where you are. Make a noise, do anything at all. Touch one of us. Do something. Anything at all? Is he still listening, Derek? He is. Yeah. Again, he could be of, you know, a spirit person because of his nature that I'm picking up. Is that um, maybe he'll want to play with us. I don't know, I thought that he'd probably respond to you, um, you know, being female, mm. um, rather than, you know, to the likes of myself okay. or uh, another man. What was that? Was that a car outside? I, I know that's that revving, but I... Yeah. Thumps? No? Maybe it was just... What? I feel it's popping up I had a muffled playing, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you hear what... I, that's what I heard. Did anybody else hear it? Just yeah. Kath and Carl? I heard it. You did? Yeah. Well, I think we should go upstairs. Come upstairs. Is there, yeah. okay. is there anybody upstairs? Is there anybody upstairs okay. that we know we of? We have everybody yeah. here. Okay, should we go upstairs? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. So, Let's go upstairs. All right. John, do you want to go first with the camera? Because we've got um, a cable. Now, we're going to go upstairs. And it is quite treacherous because some of the stairs are quite tricky. So it'll take us a little while to get up there. But I definitely heard what can be described as sort of thuds. Um, sort of quite muffled thuds. You didn't hear mm. them though, did you, Kieran? No. Okay. No. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, David, we're going to reposition uh, as we go upstairs where we heard those thuds coming from. It'd be interesting to find out if anybody else heard them in the studio. Um, while we reposition, it's, it's back to you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Matthew, I mean, De Derek coming up with the name John, even I'm not particularly impressed. No, I think that name in and of itself doesn't really tell us anything. Um, again, the noise they've heard so far, some people hearing them, some not hearing them. Even Yvette said she thought she heard something, but not everyone did, possibly even outside sources. Again, it's very difficult to assess these kinds of experiences in terms of deciding, is this something really paranormal? So be very, very careful, very cautious, and, and make sure you don't overinterpret things. That's always the problem. Um, but again, you know, there's plenty of time yet. Plenty of time yet. Well, uh, thanks for the moment. Let's go over and um, say hello and to our historians tonight. Uh, first time we've met, really, tonight. Um, Good evening. So, uh, you, you are a Derby man, aren't I you? I am indeed, yeah. So, are we in the right place tonight? Oh, for, for hauntings and ghosts, of course we are. Yeah, we, this is the dead centre of England, sir. This is, this is the ghost capital of England. There are more ghosts here than anywhere else in the country, almost. Um, <laughs> Yes, this is the place, promise. Now, Richard Jones, um, we're talking about John Flamsteed here. They're in that house now. I mean, he went to London. What are we doing in Derby? Is it really relevant? Uh, very much so. It was, it was interesting what Derek was picking up there. He picked up on a man's energy strutting up and down in an agitated state. Uh, one of the things with John Flamsteed is that uh, his father didn't want him to go to university, ostensibly because John was a very sickly child. And so his father prevented him from going to university, which caused a lot of difficulty uh, between the two of them. And uh, he, he actually did have a very difficult relationship with his father. And how swayed are you by the alleged sightings of paranormal activity? In the house itself? Yes. I think I'd like to see a bit more and maybe see more evidence. Well, maybe we will in just a second. Uh, Julian, do you have an update for us? Yeah, very busy on the webcams, David. Joanna Kirkbride of Huddersfield saw a ghostly figure 
walk from the door to the bookcase and back again at approximately 8.35. Alex Frappel from Gidea Park logged on at 8.42 and saw a man on the stairwell. And Chorley resident Sharon Ann caught a figure in the doorway whilst mist travelled along the floor around about 8.33. Now, over the next few nights, we're going to meet the interactive team who are answering your calls, taking your emails. And uh, Jane is here with some uh, thoughts and uh, texts and so on. What have people been saying, Jane? Well, one thing we're very interested in are converging stories. And before the show even started this evening, we had four people, including Sarah Pearcy and Carol Baring, who emailed us to say that they think one of the team is going to have a problem with a sore neck this evening. Really? Also, very strange webcam too. Mark from Halifax, Lee from Port Talbot, and others have all told us they see a face above the fireplace. Right, so keep your texts, your calls, your website is coming, and we'll come back later in the programme. David, back to you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I can see that Yvette and the rest of the team are exploring deeper. Let's see if we can go back over to them now. Okay, we're here. We're, we're upstairs. We're actually uh, in the entrance uh, to Annie's room there, which actually looks awful. Mm -hmm. It looks really not very nice at all. Um, how are you feeling so far? Okay. okay. Yeah? yeah? Did you hear the thumps above us or not? No. 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 Um, one thing we have to be careful, I know that, is sort of like, and you'll say this, is that we all sort of react off each other as well yeah, and definitely. not get too hysterical, as it were. I mean, I'm jumpy as anything. Um, so this is the room where we would have heard those, the thuds. Kat yes. heard them, Carl heard them, and I heard them. Mm -hmm. You heard them. Yes, yes. Um, nobody else did. No. Um, so this is the room where it would have come from. Are you picking up on the fact that, that maybe the spirit John could, could be in this room? Well, I, he most certainly moves about, Evie. But you see, the moment we came up here and we were facing this way, my first attention hit me in my shoulders, just turn around and look in there. Mm. And, you know, I feel as if we're, we're getting a great deal of um, activated activity at times in there, through that doorway. Okay. Now, it's, I don't know why, but it seems as if I've got two levels of two separate energies, um, two separate individual spirit people. And what I want to do, as I walk close to that door, all I want to do is to sob, cry, and be very, very, very upset. Okay. That's what the energy is well, thrown out to me. I know me. everybody at home and everybody in the audience will say, well, go on in then. So I think yeah. that's what we'll have to do. So, John, mm. if you want to go in first and set, set, set up, because it it's really is very, very dark in there. I don't like the look of that at all. No, it's, no. it's, it's not the nice. The steps down there. Yeah, steps. Yeah. yeah, be careful. Um, yeah. Oh, God, I hate mm. this. Derek, this has got a horrible... Oh, God. Oh my god. Be get careful. Oh, oh the god. smell, it's horrible up here. Yeah. Oh. oh, I don't like it. Where's Lisa? She alright? Yeah. Great deal of sadness in this house. Sadness? Great deal of it. Yeah? Yeah. Watch your mouth. Come over this way. Just some a state of misery here. What sort? Who? who? She's a fine, fine, fine. Sorry, I apologise. Where's that rumbling? Is that from outside? There's, there's a stench here as well. I think it is from outside. Yeah. 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 This is going to sound weird, but this it's, real, it's to me. Sorry. I don't know if anyone else can experience this right now. This morning. But you know, when you go into a room when it's full of stale ale, the mm -hmm. smell? Mm -hmm. Stale. A staleness, and yet I don't feel it's uh, attributed to stale ale, but that's what's coming to me, and it's a stench. What would that be then? Why would that be like that? Come on, Sam, you have to help me with this. Come on. <gasps> Who was that? Who was that? Okay. Did you do that? Yes. You did. Okay. You know what I feel? What's, hap what's happening here? Yeah. I feel as if the influence of the energies of the name John is trying. We've had. It's not happened a lot, but it's trying to um, 